In this video, we are going to learn how to perform mathematical operations on series. I have taken two series, series 1 and series 2. If we want to add these two series, you have to keep in mind only the values with the corresponding index will be added, subtracted, divided or multiplied. For example, in this particular case, you can clearly observe that here there is no value corresponding to index C. So that is why it resulted NAN. NAN means not a number. This happens whenever there is a missing value. Similarly, in case of index D, there is a missing value of series S2. That is why it results into NAN. And for index F, S1 value is missing. That is why the result is NAN. Let us examine this. Here I have taken the same series, series S1 and S2. So I am going to perform S1 plus S2 and this is the result. Observe that even though the values are integer, the result is float. Can I get 40 over here and 50 here even though I have missing values? Yes, there is a solution. Instead of using plus sign, we can use add over here. So what this add will do, it will add S1 and S2. But after that, we have used fill value equals to 0. Now what this fill value will do is, wherever there is a missing value, it will consider it as a 0. So this will happen. The corresponding value to index C in series S2 will be considered as 0 and thus the result will be 40. Similarly, in case of D, F, and this is how we can get the various values. Let us examine this. So I just need to write over here s1 dot add and then I say s2 that means I wanted to add s1 and s2 I just run it without fill value you will observe that it gives me the same result as s1 plus s2 so now I write fill value equals to 0 and now when I run it it give me these values it is same as what we have studied in our slide. One more important thing over here you need to understand this value can be anything. It is not necessary that this value is 0. I can replace this value with 1. So wherever there is a missing value it will be replaced with 1. So see the results over here. So it is not necessary to always have this value as 0. So this is about addition of two series. We can also perform subtraction of two series. Here also we can use SUB. Then we have multiplication of two series. And again I can use dot MUL. If you want, you can also use 1 over here. The last one is division of 2 series. And now again, I can use div s2, comma, fill value equals to 0. So instead of NAN, now it gives me infinity. If you want, you can put it 1. So it will only produce the original value. 
So 40 divided by 1 will be 40. So this is how you can add, subtract, multiply and divide. And if you want to use fill value, you can use the first three letters of addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. There is one more type of operation which you can perform on series which is called vector operations. When you perform a vector operation, it means if I add, multiply, divide any value in a series, it will be replicated to all the values in the series. For example, this is my series 1 and if I write S1 minus 1, all these values will be subtracted. This is called vector operation. So you can do plus also, multiply also and divide also. Thanks for now. See you in the next video.